guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back. And if you're new, then please join the Alley Cats. Alley Cat. <laughs> That's going to be our thing now. And please subscribe, like this video, turn on that notification bell so you know when I post. I post every Friday, for the most part. And let's just get into the video. So today's video is inspired by my new hair color. So I'm going to be doing a super cute cherry makeup. I'm sure you saw the intro and hopefully you like the look and you want to know how to do it because that's what we're about to do. Okay. I'm excited for this look because every time I get a new hair color, I am just like, woo, woo, woo. my first thought was like cherries. Of course, my first thought was food. <laughs> Let's just get into the video. <laughs> I'm going to do one eye off camera so I can actually figure out what the hell I'm doing. And then I will be back. I'm back. And I have cherries on my face. <laughs> They're a little wonky. Don't judge me. I'm not good at drawing circles. Sorry. And I went ahead and did my eyebrows and my face makeup off camera as well. Let me show you how I created these little cherries and this eye look. So first off, you're going to prime your eyes. I already did. Let's get started. Starting off with the Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree Star. We're going to be using the shade Cherry Wet. I started off by going in with a brush to pack on the color. So I'm just using a flat synthetic brush. This is a really old dude from Eco Tools. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I bought anything from them. No shade. So going into Cherry Wet, I'm pressing that right on top of my eye. I'm going all over the lid with it. Going over the lid and up into the crease. Now taking a fluffy crease brush, I'm going to be going into the bubblegum shade and I'm packing that into my crease and pretty much above where we placed Cherry Wet. Taking that out into the outer corner and also bringing that up underneath your lash line. So now we're going to go in with a rounded bullet brush. This one is from Morphe, it's the E18, and I'm going back into the shade Cherry Wet. We're going to be a little more precise with it now. So pressing it again all over the lid, kind of winging it out at the outer corner. Bringing it all the way into the crease. And then you also want to bring that up underneath your lash line. And now we're going to be going back into bubblegum to blend this out. I feel like just that alone with my hair color right now is like, oh, oh yeah, I like it. Now taking that same bullet brush, I'm going to be going into another shade. This is the shade Licorice. We're taking this to the outer corner. So you're taking that about halfway on the lid at the outer corner into your crease and then high up in your crease, almost like you're creating a cut crease. And then you're also going to bring that up underneath your lash line. I'm taking a liner brush and I'm going into that same shade and I'm just going to contour my eye bags as usual. And now we're just going to go back and forth with Cherry Wet, Bubblegum, and Licorice and blend these shades out. I like to layer the shades over each other to blend them out. Now using ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Bubbly, I'm going to be taking this all over my lid in the inner third. Mm -hmm. 
And again, almost treating this like you're making a cut crease here, all the way up into your crease, kind of where I like to go up to where I start to feel my brow bone. Take that in my inner corner as well. So I'm gonna take this right up underneath my lash line about halfway. And now I'll be taking the Morphe 35i Icy Fantasy Palette and the shade Rosy Haze. First I'm gonna just take my finger and press that right over top of my lid and everywhere that we place the ColourPop shade. I'm also kind of going over my brow bone and up to the arch of my brow. Now switching to a brush to apply it a little more precisely. To highlight my inner corners, I'm gonna be taking the shade Brilliant. And taking that up underneath my brow bone. So now for the glitter that you see over here. I'm gonna be using Too Faced Glitter Glue. And a new glitter I just bought, I'm so excited about it. It's from an indie makeup brand, MBA Cosmetics. It's their art nail body glitter, but I did read that it's still eye safe. And the shade is Pink Chablis. I love trying new brands, especially indie brands. It's just really exciting to see all these awesome creative companies out there busting out amazing products, honestly. I love this glitter and I have a bunch more products to try from them. I'm so excited. I will try them soon in another video, but ah! So you can start there where you make kind of like your cut crease line, but then blend that up toward your eyebrow I'm going to take a brush and pick up this glitter and start pressing it down. So many different cool shapes in here. It's so pretty. There's like confetti like strips in here. There's glitter. There's like hexagonal shapes. <laughs> um, there are little stars. Oh, and by the way, I bought this product, so I'm not sponsored and I wasn't gifted it. Now I'm taking that glitter glue up underneath my lash line, going about halfway with it, and then I'm going to pick up that same glitter and place it below my lash line. I have so much freaking fallout on my face right now. Oh, So I'm just going to do a wing off camera because it's like a really normal freaking wing. So I'll be right back. So I'm back. I did my wing. I used Hank and Henry lickety black eyeliner. I've honestly never used a better liner. That's a bold statement and I'm a bold bitch. Okay, no. <laughs> what we've all been waiting for, let's create the cherries. So to create the cherries, I'm using the Mayron, the AQ8 Color Tropical Palette and using the shade Beach Berry and the shade Amazon Green. These are water activated, so you'll have to have a little water near you if you're using the same product. So first I'm going to be creating the stems. To do that, I'm just using a Sigma small angle brush. This is an E65. So I wanna be as symmetrical as possible, which is difficult. And I also took the stem and went up underneath my eye bag to contour it. <laughs> so I'm actually going to start there because that's going to be a good way for me to get a feel for where I need to place the stem. So with the stem, I took one stem and curved it over the very top of my cheekbone and then I branched off the other stem, it's connecting to it, and took it right here. It's almost directly up underneath my iris. And if you do this and it's looking a little thick, don't worry, you're going to outline it in black, so that's going to take a little of that thickness away. <laughs> I wish I could outline myself in black. 
For the cherries, we're going to be taking the Mayron Paradise Makeup brush, the AQ812, going into that red and pretty much creating circles. I wasn't too fancy on the cherry shape. It was hard enough. Kind of starting off with like a blob on both because I just want to figure out my placement. with that right now I'm going to go ahead and create the little leaf so going back into the green and I took this and kind of continued that initial line so I curve downward like that and then bringing that in curving it quite a bit and then going back at the base. So now that I have that kind of placed down, I can perfect it. Now for the outlines. I'm using another Mayron Paradise paint and this is in black. I'm taking an another small brush I'm actually cleaning that brush that I used for the red and I'm going to use it for the black and we're going to outline everything. So I'm going to start with the leaf. sure to breathe through this because I'm not breathing at all so so what I like to do is go back into the red and the green and kind of clean up the black lines you almost want to go back and forth until you like it the cherries are a little different they're a little more lifted and separated, and these are a little, you know, pushed together for some cleavage. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't stand looking at it like that. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> there, I kind of fixed it, but kind of didn't because I just made them bigger than the other side. Ooh, it's not symmetrical. Oh my god. Hold up, I'm gonna finesse these cherries and make them symmetrical on this side because now that these are bigger it's going to drive me absolutely insane if I don't make it symmetrical. So hold up. I've made them as symmetrical as I possibly could. As for the highlight, the little white line, I used NYX White Liquid Liner and I just created like a little Now that that's done, I'm just going to pop on some lashes and I'm going to be right back. These are the Ardell Wispies 600. And I put some mascara on, a little white eyeliner in my waterline. I used NYX Faux Whites in Baby Powder. I disguised my lash band with Esquito Gel Eyeliner in black. And for mascara, I used Tarte Big Ego. So now it's time for the lips. I'm thinking I want to go glossy as fuck. Like, so fucking glossy that... I don't know. Just fucking glossy. <laughs> Didn't have another descriptive word, okay? It's, it, fucking is enough. So I'm going to keep my lips pretty fucking neutral. Sorry. Wow. So I'm going to give my lips a little bit of a pink tint. And I'm going to line them and then I'm gonna make them glossy let's do it so going in with my favorite natural lip liner jante blue and dark natural this is still my all-time fave love it and 
then going in with Oprah lip liner in Chestnut. So for my lips to add a little color, I'm going to be using the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Cruella. This is oldie but a goodie. I'm going to be taking this and ombre my lips with it. I like to take a touch of it and then just blend that out. I place a little on top of my Cupid's bow as well. And then I'm going to go in with a gloss. This one is from Iconic London. It's a plumping lip gloss in Love Struck. So this is the look. I actually really like how it turned out. I think it's super cute. That's always what I go for. <laughs> yeah. I like, I like cutesy things. Yeah. I follow makeup artists on Instagram that do like body painting and intricate painting on their faces. Bitch, how? Oh my God, they are so talented. Like, it's crazy. I, I struggled drawing circles on my face. <laughs> So that's something, I think in 2020, that's going to be a goal for me is to learn how to paint intricate details on my face because I am not great at that. I actually feel like huge things are coming and actually I know some huge things are coming and I can't wait to share them with you guys too. There's some good things in store. So I think you're going to want to subscribe if you haven't already. And also, join the Alley Cat fam. Come on, become an Alley Cat. Alley Cat. <laughs> you know you want to. You know you want to. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, subscribe. Join the Alley Cat fam. Hit that notification bell so you know every time I post, I post every Friday. And like the video and share it with your friends and family, please, so that I can have more alley cats. I need more cats. I need more cats. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. I'm not a cow. I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow.